Hello guys, what's up and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Smart Programmer. I hope you all are fine. And today I am back with a new video. In this video, I am going to tell you how to create tables by using the pretty table library in Python language. So video is quite interesting and I hope you will enjoy it. Before we move on, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. I hope guys you all knew that how to install the pretty table library if you don't know just click on this uh, terminal and type here pip install the name of the module like pretty table and then press the enter button and your package will be installed so I have already installed it so I'm not installing it right now so I am just uh, importing the pretty table library from pretty table import pretty table so you might be wondering that what is this pretty table so this is the class of this pretty table library and the pretty table class inside the pretty table library is used to create the rational tables in python so now let's create the sample tables by using the pretty table library uh, in python language so there are basically two different type of tables we can create in fact there are two different methods of creating the table the number one is the row wise operation and the second one is the column wise operation so in row wise we uh, put the data in rows and in column wise we put the data in columns so firstly we will create the table using the row wise rule so i'm creating here object my table and using the pretty table class and now I am initializing my table by giving the column names. So it's a student data. So I'm giving here student name. And then it's class. And then it's percentage or section. So now print it by typing here my table. And let's see whether it's working or not. So you can see here a table is created. A beautiful table is created. So guys, now I am adding the data by using the row uh, operation. So my table dot add row. So the first thing we need to add is the student name. So Mike and then it's class is 10th class and then section which is A and then let's run it so guys as you can see here it is giving us error so the error is because we have not give here the square bracket because we are giving the data in array so now let's run it again so you can see here our data is entered in the table successfully now i will just copy and paste to enter more data So guys I have entered my all data and let's run it again. So you can see here our table is ready to display. So you can see here our table is created successfully and guys we can add the index automatically by just uh, using a single command which is my table dot add auto index and give the name of your uh, column like i am giving here serial number and that's it so how simple it is this is the easiest way of creating a table and our serial number is also appearing successfully but you can see that it is starting from one but by default the uh, serial number or the id of our uh, row is zero so if we want to delete a certain row or a particular column or a row so we have to start from zero i'll show you how we can you know delete the column so now i'm going to show you how we can delete our uh, table or a particular column or a particular uh, row so first of all if i want to delete this uh, second one row from this table so i have to 
type here my table dot del row by default the index start from zero so this is the zeroth index and this is the one first index so one and you can see that one is you know deleted successfully and if i sort table is back with all its data so if i want to uh, delete the particular column so the method is different my table dot del column so i have to give the name of the column like if i want to uh, delete the column class let's run it so the class column is deleted and there is no column of class so this is how we can delete this particular column or a row but if we want to clear the entire table so this command is very simple my table dot clear itself so the table is deleted the data is cleared everything is cleared so this is how we can you know clear all the data so guys there is another operation too like my table dot clear rows so we can particularly clear all the rows by using this operation okay and just run it and you can see here our data is completely deleted but our the column names are still there so these are the different operation that you can apply on your table in python language and this is the easiest way of creating the table so in next video we will uh, learn how to create a table by using the column operations and i hope you learned something and enjoy this video if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section below so please support my channel and press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so bye for now take care and allah hafiz